Hi, this is Steve from GSX, and welcome to our video series about GSX Monitor and GSX Analyzer. There will be a whole bunch of videos issued in the next few weeks. Some will be very detailed, some will be more general, some will be about different platforms. So I suggest that you uh, subscribe to our RSS feed off of our blog so you can keep an eye on new ones when they come out. And without further ado, let's get into the content. Thanks. Okay, today's session will deal with the BlackBerry Probe. Well, what in the world is the BlackBerry Probe? The BlackBerry Probe is, uh, if you've been watching any of the other videos, the user level test for the BEZ environment. So we've talked about user level testing as being one of the main things that GSX tries to do to make sure that services are really indeed being offered to our end user uh, community and they can do what they need to do on our infrastructure resources. And the BlackBerry probe takes that to uh, the BlackBerry environment and tests it end to end. So as you know and, and we've already seen if you've watched the other videos, here's our BlackBerry servers and the various lights tell us different things about that. If you don't know what that is, I would suggest you look at some of the other videos, but today we're going to concentrate on the mail routing tab and specifically the BlackBerry probe. Now there's a lot here on the screen, so let's stay together in this upper left-hand corner here. And each one of these probes are various probes that we've set up. And there's really three different types of probe. We're here to mainly talk about the BlackBerry probe, but just to give you a quick idea of what the other things are, the, the whole concept of mail routing is to test if email traffic can flow, if messaging traffic can flow in varying types. So you you see we have some here like named Asia Aero EU. So that would basically be a probe and you can name it whatever you wish that every 15 minutes or 2 minutes or 10 minutes or 3 minutes or whatever your cycle has been set to be. GSX Monitor will send a message from one of my servers in Asia which I identify here to another one of my servers in uh, Europe which I would identify here and, and uh, that happens cyclically and GSX Monitor actually tests and checks to make sure that the individual messages arrive at their intended location. So the first thing we can do is test message traffic internally from one of our servers to another. So that could be exchange to exchange, domino to exchange, domino to domino, uh, any permutation of servers and you can set up multiple of these probes. So that's testing general mail traffic. Then we have another one here called the internet probe and in this example every five minutes we're sending a message from one of our servers to an echo site or a series of echo sites perhaps. You could actually put more than one echo site address in here and GSX is testing that round trip message. Now I mention these things even though we're here to talk about the BlackBerry probe because GSX philosophically does not believe that you can only monitor BEZ and really monitor BEZ truly. In other words, BEZ exists as part of your overall messaging strategy and to really know if BEZ is working you have to know if Exchange and or Domino are doing their jobs as well. So let's get on to what the BlackBerry probe is. We've named a particular probe the BlackBerry probe. You can name them whatever you wish. You could have BlackBerry probe 123 or name it vanilla, chocolate, and strawberry, it doesn't really matter, um, but that just happens to be what we've done. And here, every five minutes, we're sending a message through our Exchange messaging server or our Domino messaging server, whichever ones you have, through our BEZ server, through the SRP connection, through RIM servers, uh, through the carrier, and ultimately to a test handheld device. And that test handheld device turns around a confirming message and sends everything right back through all those same components of the architecture. So this is really an, uh, the ultimate way to know, and this would also be your early warning, by the way, if there was a failure, it would be the first thing that we would see failing uh, of all the components of the architecture, even those components outside of your control, such as uh, RIM servers and, and the carriers that you happen to be working with. Okay. So let's let's go through an example. Now I don't happen to have a BlackBerry probe. It's not enabled with a checkbox. So let me just show you another one as an example. Here we see some text that appears in the lower section of the screen, which is showing me the results of every single one of my cyclical probes. I should also mention that the BlackBerry probe has each probe has a key embedded in the subject line of the message so that we're not just checking if a message arrives, we're checking that each unique message arrives as well as being able to track the cycle times that you see here. So in this case we have average routing time, max min, number of failures in daily, weekly, and monthly buckets as well as success numbers and failure numbers and percentages of, of success within the SLA which is what we've established here 
and within double our SLA. So we not only know if an individual probe is functioning, we also can see some, some benchmarks and indices to tell me what normal is here. And again, down below, if you want to do any troubleshooting, you can see the, the results of each probe. Let's, let's very quickly go into how to set one of these up, and you can see some of the different choices you have. Obviously, I can set up what are my cycle times, and I can have various cycle times depending on how often I want to do this. Is it going from a domino server to a domino server as we have in this example? Or is it going from a Domino server to a BlackBerry device? And I would check off that this is a BlackBerry device, and obviously I'd have to put in the proper addressing to do this. Or is it going from an Exchange server to a Domino server, or any of these different permutations for the different types of probes we have? Once I answer these questions, of course, we'd also determine if it's failing, do I do retries before I send an alert, or do I send an alert out? In other sessions, we've talked about what alert profiles are and all the different alerting methods. So if you have not seen that, I would suggest you go back to, I think it's BEZ section, uh, session 2 gets into that. And of course, we can also establish a maintenance window where we don't want to be doing these probes and don't want to be alerting if this server is supposed to be down for normal maintenance. So that's what the BlackBerry probe does. In our next session, we're going to finish up with the final session for um, the BlackBerry Enterprise server with a few other functions. Thanks for joining us. Well, thanks for the time. Don't forget to keep an eye on our blog for the newest videos that will be coming out in the next few weeks. Subscribe to our RSS feed. It will make it a lot easier. And bye-bye. Thanks.